Um, people always comment about your humility and the way you kind of handle all this attention. I wonder how, how has it been overwhelming at all to see the amount of love you re you've received from this franchise and people around the city? Um, no, it hasn't been overwhelming at all because uh, the thing that keeps me grounded is I just always think about the times when, like, it was just me, my stepdad, and the basketball on the outdoor court. So that's all I need to keep me grounded. Can you just talk us through the last 24 hours and tell us what that's been like for you, just the whole whirlwind? Um, uh, it's been just a lot. You came to, I'm still taking it in. Um, you know, I dreamt about having my name called by the commissioner since I was a little kid, and for him to call my name first meant even more to me. And having my family and friends there to support me, I think, just made that moment much better. And as of the rest of it, it's just sleep, get on a plane, and press conference. When you hear David Griffin say that you are not the savior, of the Pelicans franchise. Do you think that that takes some of the weight off of your shoulders coming into the league as a rookie, just knowing that the weight of an entire franchise is not on just you? <laughs> um, I, like I said before, I look at things from a realistic point of view. I think people are kind of like doing a bit much. I am 18. I haven't even played one game yet. So I'm, I look at it just like that. Like, I'm just trying to come contribute to the team. Whatever the vets need me to do, I'm, I'm ready to do it. Last night, you addressed the people in New Orleans, and you said, let's dance. What was the origin of that? Was that something just <laughs> popped in your head, or was there some background to that? I have a funny story about that. Uh, <laughs> so me and a group of friends, uh, we went to see Avengers Endgame. And if you know me, Thanos is my favorite character. So, uh, you know, Captain America's shield's broken. And I'm like, you know, we're about to win. Like, for once, the, the movie's going to be realistic and the bad guy wins sometimes, you know, because he's the strongest. Um, <laughs> so my friend Axel, he's like, hold on, hold on. All of a sudden, all these superheroes who disappeared five years ago just start appearing. And I'm like, oh, we might lose. And he, he looks at me, he goes, Let's dance. <laughs> like, let's dance. <laughs>